and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys um, and tell you guys about um, audience theory. So basically the reception theory is was made by Stuart Hall. This shows the audience can respond to a media text in three different ways. So there is um, preferred, neg, neg rotated, I think that's how you pronounce it, and up positional. The preferred for Deadpool is having to make having two different genres. So in this case it'll be action and comedy. This like makes the audience feel like different about the film because it's not just action and it's not just comedy. So there's a variety of different um, genres in there. The negotate negotated theory of this is that some people like don't mind a bit of both however they prefer to stick to one genre because they feel like they get off track with another and then up positional is where uh, the audience don't want to see any other genre at all they just want like pure um, action pure comedy or whatever there's no other genre in there another theory for Deadpool is that the audience may enjoy watching action films um, but there's like violence and weapons in there. The um, preferred for this is they don't mind it at all. They're, they're accepting the fact that there is like violent weapons in there. There's violence within the film. The negotiated of this is they don't mind the weapons and the violence in there. However, some of it isn't a bit, a bit inappropriate for the age certificate, which Deadpool is a 15. And then the oppositional for this is um, they don't want to see any violence or crime or weapons whatsoever because they think it's really inappropriate and they don't want to see it on film. Also another theory called uses and gratification who, and this was created by Bulma and Cats I think that's what it's pronounced and this is based on how the audience watch, listen or read media texts. So there are certain topics in this theory which are division, identification, social interaction and social um, surveillance. So a distraction to Deadpool is the romantic relationship between Vanessa and Wade. Um, this will distract the audience as they'll want to see um, different genres within there. And then another distraction is the 80s music. Um, this appeals to the older audience as they're able to listen to songs and love the song and be like, oh my god, I remember that song. It was such a tune back in the day. What a tune. <laughs> yeah. And identification is to show the love of Wade when he, but then he breaks up with Vanessa and it becomes more of an evil character. And we can relate to this because some people will change once they've had a they've been broken up with or they have they've had their heart broken. Um, another one is that people may have relatives that have had cancer and they can relate to it or they've had cancer themselves and they've been in that situation before. Um, so yeah, a social interaction um, is the hashtag which is hashtag Deadpool and this is a, to appeal to like the younger generation, um, younger audience purely because they can interact over social media and talk about what's good about the film, things about the film, whatever they want to talk about within there and it makes the, um, a bigger audience as well. Um, On to surveillance, this is information um, that isn't shown in like comic strips, these are show, it shows the backstory. Um, on the film and this grabs the audience's attention straight away purely because they haven't seen information like this before and they're just intrigued straight away. There is also another theory and this is called the two step flow model and this is a passive model whereas the other theories I've talked about are active models. This basically suggests um, like there are people that have different cultures however they have an opinion leader an opinion leader is like part of an elite group or it can just be a peer, a friend, etc. And, or an inspiration. So in this case my inspiration is Justin Bieber. So if Justin Bieber was to put something on 
say, Twitter about a certain film, it's going to make hit myself and his fans want to watch the film and it'll get more reviews. Also, the theory supports TV and film critics, so if a film or a TV's got a good review, more people are likely to watch it than watch a film, than watch a film if it's got a bad review, purely because of like, oh, someone said it's rubbish, I'm not going to watch it now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk now about Deadpool poster, which I'll have like a picture here. Um, and basically this is like a two, it shows a two flow model of like a tagline so that in any case it could be like world's greatest action film ever and it'll make people want to watch the film in some way um, so yeah and it also promotes them so. another audience I'd like to talk about is the hypodermic needle model and this is also a passive audience theory I need to this theory is based on um, media message messages that are injected into the brains of the audience. They could be influenced from media text and question and do not question what they are being told. The technique of this is that they often are used in advertisement. The audience are expected to take on the message and inf and be influenced by the slogans. The negative to this is that the model displays how the audience can be easily influenced. In some cases, people can become desensitized. I can never say that. Oh, desensitized. <laughs> by what they see in the media. This also applies to Deadpool. This could show and encourage people that it's okay to do bad things, such as commit violence and crime, and this will make them want to like commit crime and yeah. Also strong language can be used and this can influence them as they may want to use foul language. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did then please give it a big thumbs big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave in the comments what videos you'd like me to do. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!